May I have your attention, please? Welcome to today's event. Please remember to turn off cell phones or set them to vibrate. And please find your seat. The event will begin shortly. Good afternoon, and welcome to the Penny W. Stamps School of Art and Design Commencement Celebration. Please welcome the graduates of the Class of 2024.
please welcome the faculty of the Stamps School of Art and Design, led by Dean Carlos Francisco Jackson. Now, a look back at the final year of our graduates. Please welcome to the stage the Assistant Dean for Admissions and Student Services at the Penny W. Stamps School of Art and Design, Veronica Falandino. Welcome everyone to the Penny W. Stamps Commencement Celebration for 2024. I'd like to begin our event today by stating that the Stamps School affirms the existence of diverse and intersectional identities, including age, culture, disability, ethnicity, gender identity and expression, language, nationality, race, religion, sexual orientation, size, socioeconomic status, and more. The Stamps School celebrates our community members' varied identities and creative practices. 
We are proud to be located in the beautiful state of Michigan, where we are graced by 20% of the planet's fresh water in our Great Lakes. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Uh, the University of Michigan exists among the hardwood forests on the banks of the Huron River, located on the traditional territories of the Ashinabe, Wyandot, Seneca, Delaware, Shawnee, Miami, Sauk, and Fox, and others. In 1817, the Potawatomi, Odawa, and Ojibwe nations made the largest single land transfer to the university, land granted through Article 16 of the Treaty of the Foot of the Rapids, with the understanding that their children would be provided with educational opportunities. We honor and gratefully acknowledge the Native peoples on whose ancestral lands we gather and the diverse and vibrant Native communities that make their home here today. Through these words of acknowledgement, their contemporary and ancestral legacies to the land, sovereignty, and contributions to the university are recognized and reaffirmed. I am honored to introduce our platform party for today's celebration. Please rise as I read your names. The Stamp School Academic Leadership, Dean Carlos Francisco Jackson. Dylan A. T. Minor, Senior Associate Dean for Research, Creative Practice, and Graduate Education. Rebecca Strelick, Associate Dean for Academic Programs. Our keynote speaker is alum Janet Taylor Pickett. Our faculty who will announce our students as they approach the stage include David Chung. Holly Hughes, Andy Poshkovich, Bruce Tharp, and John Marshall. The rest of the STAMPS faculty who have taught, mentored, and championed our graduating students join us today as well. Please note, re rise and be recognized. Finally, the STAMP staff are here today, scattered throughout the event as they continue their unwavering support and commitment to our students. Thank you for your many contributions. We begin today with opening remarks from Dean Jackson. Please welcome him to the podium. Dear STAMPS faculty, staff, students, graduates, families, friends, alumni, and community members, it is with enormous gratitude that I address you here today with the privilege to currently serve as your dean of the Penny W. STAMPS School of Art and Design. Please allow me this moment to offer some gratitude. Firstly, to our studio coordinators. Thank you for working so hard and thoughtfully to support our faculty and students in their aspirations for materializing their ideas, for problem-solving design-oriented solutions, and for the meaningful, direct, irreverent, oppositional, and or aspirational art making. Thank you. <laughs> Secondly, to the advisors and our international experience team, thank you for stewarding and supporting our students in their aspirations to live and build a creative life, to learn and grow, for your compassion, expertise, and guidance in navigating difficulty, and, in, and for encouraging rigor and resilience to continue to fight to build their future. Thank you. <laughs> Thirdly, to the STAMPS pre-college and admissions team, thank you for supporting the aspirations of future artists, designers, and creative beings who aspire to join us here at STAMPS. This autonomous school of art and design located within our nation's premier public research university. Our school continues to grow ever more mighty, now as competitive to get into as the most competitive and prestigious schools and colleges across this great university. Thank you. <laughs> Fourthly, to the academic programs team where our registrar unit, student support services sits, who manages all the logistics for how we deploy and deliver our academic program. 
Your work does not go unnoticed, and I am grateful for all you are doing to make our program more effective and intuitive. Thank you. <laughs> Fifthly, to the student life team, thank you for supporting our students' welfare and well-being, working to retain our students, supporting them as they enter the University of Michigan, guiding and supporting them while they are here, and supporting their pathway out into the world with tangible opportunities to pursue graduate education or to begin working in the field. Thank you. <laughs> Sixthly, to the communications and marketing team who led the organization of this event, who worked to tell your stories, amplify your work and voice, and advocate for the impact your work has on the broader field of art and design, on the University of Michigan community, on the state of Michigan, the nation, and beyond. Thank you. <laughs> Seventhly, to the development and alumni relations team, as you graduate from the University of Michigan with a graduate or undergraduate degree, you as alumni are and will always be part of the Stamps and University of Michigan community. Our development and alumni relations team are here to sustain those connections with you, seeking your guidance and feedback on your experience here at Stamps and engaging your work in the broader field after graduation. Our development and alumni relations team want to work with you to continue the, mo the momentum that we have built here already which is to sit at the vanguard of art and design education, research and praxis, to deploy art and design in the service of society, to generate greater equity, justice, health, and well-being for every single person, regardless of race, class, nation, religion, and maybe even because of those very things. As you leave here today, I ask you to stop at our development and alumni relations table to stay connected and I'll look forward to seeing you out in the world, connecting with you and being in conversation about how STAMPS can and continues, can and will continue to support your aspirations while ensuring you have a role in the future of this space, this school, which is rightly yours. Thank you. Eighthly, <laughs> to our budget and finance team, thank you for allowing me to spend money on this commencement for supporting the critical needs of the school, for working to address how we can steward our resources into a better future, a future where public higher education is more accessible, affordable, and impactful for those seeking an education and for those in the broader community for whom our university is mandated to serve. Thank you. <laughs> Ninthly, to our human re resources and dean's office team, those working to help promote faculty, providing equitable and compliant structures of support, assisting in times of familial or personal need, working to build greater transparency and accountability, working to deepen and sustain our DEI commitments, working to keep me on time for caring. You've been my partner since my first day in Ann Arbor. I remain committed to you, your life, your well-being. I am yours. Thank you. <laughs> Tenthly, to our facilities team, Those who do everything from supporting students' aspirations to display and share their work throughout our buildings, to keeping us safe amidst the saws, kilns, and foundry, to holding together our beloved building whose infrastructure is far past its expected life. <laughs> the facilities team does it all, always showing up, to set up these chairs we sit on, to help hang a painting, all the things seen and unseen. Thank you. Eleventhly, to our research and public programs teams, those working to create greater opportunity for faculty, staff, and students to exhibit their work in our stamps gallery on Division Street, those working to build the nation's premier public speaker series, those working to deepen our research imperative to address and solve our, our great states, the nation's, the world's most pressing challenges. Thank you. Twelfthly, to our graduate program staff, Thank you for helping to sustain and build on the historical su success of the nation's eighth rank graduate program, for creating a dynamic, rigorous, and generative program for incubating new artistic and design-oriented praxis. Thank you. <laughs> Thirteenthly, <laughs> I know. 
to our faculty of all ranks and titles. You deserve more and you deserve better. You have instructed these graduates, supported their aspirations, provided a rigorous and joyful experience in the studios and classrooms, guided students' pathways to gain tangible tools to materialize their ideas, and advised on how to navigate this complex institution while sustaining their humanity. Here in my role, my major frustrations are not being able to give everyone what they want and need, constantly coming up against the limit. On behalf of the whole school, all our students and staff, we thank you, truly. I have been in awe of all you do for each individual student that you have taught, for respecting the staff who support you, for modeling intellectual and creative leadership that is accountable, respectful, and generous. It is truly my life's great honor to share this stage with you. Thank you. Fourteenthly, thank you to Dylan Miner and Rebecca Strelick for joining me on this journey. To build a community of respect, generosity, and accountability. To, su to support all those within our community. Thank you for being my partners, for pushing me, for pushing all of us to be our best selves. You made me better because you are better. Thank you. Fifteenthly, to all the families here today, who have accompanied your friend, child, loved one, relative, relation on their journey to build a creative life. I have said this often in different contexts and appreciate your patience while I offer it again. One of the greatest risks in our society is to journey on a path that does not have a logical economic endpoint to a journey that has one master, the heart, to follow the heart against all odds. Here I'm speaking of what it means to say the simple phrase to a loved one, I wanna be an artist. I'd like to be a designer. I'd like to live a creative life. All those here today graduating from this great university, Wolverines, uttered these words in one way or another when they and when they were uttered, someone was there to hold them in that moment and to offer unconditional love and support, to commit to walking alongside their loved one's journey to gain an education that centered art making and design thinking. To all the families and loved ones here today, I honor you. I am grateful to you. Stamps, we, us, me, would not be here now if you hadn't done what you did for your loved one, supporting them, guiding them, loving them. In loving your stamps graduate, you shared your love with us here, with me. And I in turn give you all my love because your act of love was not small. It was grand, big, like an ever expanding universe. Acts that we so desperately need to build a better world. Thank you. Sixteenthly, which most surely is not a word, to our stamp students. All those graduating here today, wow, just wow. <laughs> I have been so impressed and in awe of you, walking the halls of the capstone exhibitions, commence impressions, the MFA thesis exhibition as far, as far as there. The energy, the quality of work, the rigor, the heat being produced in the studios, the generosity, the mutual aid and support exchanged between students. Just wow. You have taught me and this campus so much, especially in these days. You've taught us and reminded us that the way through difficulty is through our work. That our work, our irreverent problem-making art, our problem-solving design interventions are the most generative, healthy, and impactful way to address the most challenging complexities of our times. Contested elections, international wars with loss of life on a scale so profound as to defy language. There is no way forward other than through. 
and you've shown us that we need each other and that we need to move and that we need to move forward together and that the healthiest way to do it is with our work i can say without question that it is a miracle that i am standing here before you if i can stand here before you i promise every single one of you can make your dreams come true because you are a miracle miracles are real because you are real but they are real because we have each other as we move forward we are going to need each other ever more than ever i am nothing without the land without the ancestors as i am nothing without you as the ancient mayan saying goes in la kesh tu eres mi otro yo i am you and you are me thank you thank you stamps graduates thank you Aside from offering these notes of gratitude, I have the profound privilege of introducing this year's Stamps commencement speaker, Janet Taylor Pickett. Janet Taylor Pickett traveled from my familial home of Los Angeles with her daughter, Samantha Taylor Pickett, an artist in her own right, who we are privileged to have, had, to have joined us today. Janet graduated from our great university in 1970 with a BFA, and, from, uh, and then two years later, in 1972 with their MFA. There is a robust bio for Janet in our commencement programs that I encourage you to read. Janet was a longtime faculty member at Essex County College and has exhibited and had work collected in major museums across the country. Rather than reiterate that bio here, I'd like to pull a brief quote from an introduction written by Jennifer Bang, Janet's, Janet Pickett, Janet's gallerist, for an exhibition at the Oceanside Museum of Art in 2023. Jennifer states, quote, Janet Taylor Pickett was born in Ann Arbor, the third generation in her mater maternal family to be raised in that city, which was a stop on the Underground Railroad. Her father, Dempsey Taylor Jr., was born in Brownsville, Tennessee, and traveled north during the Great Migration, settling with his family in Ypsilanti, Michigan. This imbrication of personal and shared black history is concealed in Taylor Pickett's work, which pours forth from an arduous path sowed with the sorrow of memories and a sea of desires." End quote. Janet teaches us to hold our ancestors close, to honor our history, to fight for the future, to make love through our work, to heal ourselves and the world. I ask you now to rise and give our 2024 Stamps commencement speaker, Janet Taylor Pickett, our gratitude for fighting for us before she even knew our names. Janet. To quote, wow. <laughs> I'm a little nervous, so bear with me. Hello and good afternoon, Dean Jackson, faculty, and you graduates, the class of 2024. Yeah, I did it. Man, these four years have been transformative. Just think, you survived and flourished one leap year, a global pandemic to another leap year. <laughs> Pretty amazing when you start to think about it. You all are becoming artists, designers. You will begin to tell your own stories. You are the architects of your lives. You may think you chose art, <laughs> but in reality, being a creative chose you. Artists have been, for the most part, outliers, as you probably already know. You've taken the strength of your convictions to forge a path for yourselves. I know this for a fact. 
there will be times when you feel that your vulnerability takes on more than you can bear. But that's part of being an artist. I was where you are, metaphorically speaking, of course. Little did I know that decades later, I'd be here <laughs> speaking to all of you. This is a full circle moment for me, so bear with me. It's very emotional. I look out and see the diversity that didn't quite exist when I was a student. Back then, the school was called the College of Architecture and Design, where I received my BFA and MFA. The building was on the main campus. The building was across from the law school, too. which is actually where I met my daughter's father. Oh. oh, that lasted 12 years, but that's another story. Um, the studios were on the fifth floor with no elevators that the undergrads could use. <laughs> and imagine carrying your portfolios and all of your stuff. Up. Well, anyway, I'm here, I survived. I'm the first generation in my family to go to college. Yeah. And back then, I was a scholarship student. I am the daughter and the only child of Ethel and Dempsey Taylor, Jr. Give me a minute. I can only imagine how they But I have a daughter, Samantha, to witness. And I didn't promise her that I wouldn't embarrass her. She's sitting right over there. Uh, the support and sacrifices my parents made were born out of love. And I know you all feel that today. The support and sacrifices my parents made were amazing. My father came from Brownsville, Tennessee. And he was the son of sharecroppers. My family migrated, his family migrated to Ypsilanti, Michigan doing the Great Migration, the historic American story that was chronicled by Jacob Lawrence through his series called The Great Migration. My mother Ethel was second generation born in Ann Arbor. I'm the third. Her family on her mother's side came up through the Underground Railroad and settled in Ann Arbor. And I think of the courage it took them to support their daughter, who decided that she wanted and needed to be an artist. They supported my childhood creativity. <laughs> I was given paint by numbers set. I don't know if any of you are, can remember those. <laughs> but I always mix up the colors to see what I get. <laughs> Then there was also the occasional box of the Crayola crayons. You guys, you're not too young to remember those, right? And the box of 64 was really special. I would usually get those for my birthday or for Christmas. However, you know, in that box, there was a color called flesh, and it didn't quite, kind of bothered. It didn't meet my flesh. But now I think it's called peach. My mother gave me her love of books, my father his love of gardening. He taught me how to use different tools. And he also would bring home these wonderful discarded treasures. All of this and more are constant inspirations for my art practice to this day. And here are my formative years at the U of M in the late 60s and early 70s. Yes, I'm that. No, young, I'm sorry, young. <laughs> to be an artist was a revolutionary act. It was doing the black, cop, the black power movement, feminist movement, the assassinations of Kennedy, King, and Malcolm. These things also, it, they helped seed the, my creativity. 
and then help me with the mining and the geography of my imagination, as well as learning to hone on how I wanted and needed to bring light through my art in the world. It was during this time that I think I had to begin to think about what my MFA thesis was gonna be about, as well as finding an exhibition space for that graduate show. I had to go off campus to do that back then. I decided that my research was going to be about other black artists, information that was not readily available when I was a student in Michigan. So I began to create a questionnaire, a list of questions that I would mail out. You know, the postal service. <laughs> the questions were pretty basic, like what were some of your influences? Is the label being a black artist limiting? Are you self-taught? Are artists the vanguard of change? and so forth. There were 11 questions in all. I received 18 responses out of the 300 that I sent out. Remember, this was before Google, okay? Um, I received some responses from Emma Amos, Jacob Lawrence, Benny Andrews, Irene Clark, to name just a few, and Palmer Hayden. These were artists of renown, but were not readily written about in the history, the art history of America, or the so-called mainstream publications. Some of the responses ranged from curt to kind, and others wrote more detailed answers. These responses still inspire me. Here's one that stands out. It's, it was from Palmer Hayden. He was born in 1890. He died in 1973, and he was 81 when he took the time to write answers to these questionnaires. One of the answers was why he became an artist. And he said this simple urge to express in visual form my observation of the life around me. Palmer Hayden would later be an artist that I introduced my students to in courses that I began teaching about the history of American art. I don't think I fully realized what I had in my possession at the time. I mean, I held history in my hands. To know that I wasn't alone in that journey of becoming an artist. Those responses never changed. I did, and I have. Each time I go back and read them, I moved again and again, decades later. Now, you'll have friendships that you forged, and I'm sure you already have. Teachers that have encouraged you, skills you've learned and will continue to develop. Encounters that don't seem important at the time, but re remember this, your future self will be grateful. These memories will be a force that will support you in trying times. Such memories have supported me throughout my lifetime. There were professors here at the U of M that encouraged me through some really tough times. There is one Robert Stull, he was my MFA mentor, and others that inspired and provided extra encouragement. However, I'd like to share a few anecdotes in my early years of being a creative that forged me through this adversity. It's an early one. I was in sixth grade. I must have been around 11 or 12. And in my favorite class, art. The assignment was to paint something that you know and love. I decided that I wanted to paint what I saw in my backyard. Our yard was in the throes of spring. The lilac bushes were in full bloom, and so was our cherry tree. Kind of like how it looks now. It was very lush, the spring. There's also a fence and an arbor and a gate. I loved it. I had my canvas board and my oil paint set, so I painted what I saw in the style 
of the Impressionists, or so I thought. I was so proud of my accomplishment. I was very grateful the following Monday when my father dropped me off at school and I took my finished painting to class. When it was my turn to present, the teacher's reaction was with her hands on her hips. She said, no, 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 no. You didn't see this, you made this up. She said in her limited purview, it must have been impossible for her to believe that this little colored girl, and remember this was the late 50s, early 60s, to see what I saw. So she took a palette knife and scraped all of my paint off. And that was that. I sat there and took it. After school, I told my parents what happened. They were calm, at least that's what they presented to me at the time. Their words were, the world is going to say no to you many times, but you must be able to say yes to yourself. What I didn't know was they took the day off work <laughs> to go to school. My mother was a nurse's aide at the time and my father was a maintenance man for an apartment building. So they took that day off to go to school to discuss what had happened to me. It was extremely important to them. The teacher was, of course, called in and of course, there were tears on her part. Mm-hmm. <laughs> she apologized and that was that. That experience didn't deter me. Of course, that bit of trauma obviously has remained in me and you never forget how people make you feel. The next challenge that kind of stands out, and there were many, took place here at Michigan, the University of Michigan, as I mentioned earlier, there were many supporters that outweighed the negative. But here's one kind of dark one that still stands out. I was a freshman. It was my first semester. It was a Studio 2D design course. The assignment was to create an album cover, cover from a popular Rolling Stones song at the time. So I chose Ruby Tuesday. I could see the colors, the various shades of red and the pen and, pen and ink lines I would use. We had in-class studio time as well as homework. It was due the following week. Then came the dreaded critique. Yeah, this was my first as a college student. We mounted our assignments on the board and the critiques began. My heart was racing. It's kind of like it is now. <laughs> but, you know, imagine 50 years younger, okay? <laughs> the professor, he might have been a TA at the time, came to my work. And I'm ad-libbing here, but that SOB eviscerated my work. I mean, he really did the thing. In spite of my verbal support and presentation, which only exacerbated my humiliation, later he said that I should drop his course and that, my, that I should choose something that my people were better suited for. Those were his words. Again, I held it together. <laughs> I took the bus home and I told my parents, but they reminded me what they had said to me when I was 11 or 12. To this day, critiques still trigger me. <laughs> Just ask my gallerist or my daughter. Hey, I'm a Leo, what can I say? I share these moments and memories with you only to remind you that doing something you love takes perseverance and resilience. 
what happens to you from now to the in-between times of life is the journey and the process. Please trust it. The possibilities are endless. For instance, don't be afraid of, yikes, AI, okay? But through our vigilance as artists, it is necessary to protect our work. I mean, advances in, it, in technologies are new tools and have helped artists and designers throughout history. I really don't believe a machine can replace the soul of the artist's hand. I'm inspired by what da Vinci said, where the spirit does not work with the hand, there is no art. After all, the word inspiration comes from the Latin inspiratus, which means spirit, wind blow, breath of the gods, soul. Inspiration comes at unexpected times. You might hear a fragment of music or art that you may not like or don't understand now, but the work of art does not change. You do. I remember one of my students asked me, what makes some art great? It took me a moment because I'd really never been asked that. Even as a student, I just took for granted some of what I was told was great. I know now that it all depended on who is telling and teaching the story. Greatness stands the test of time. Maybe it's subjective, but for me, the art that I return to over and over, I see something new each time. It's like hearing a song you think you know or a movie you've watched again. As you mature, you listen and you see and it becomes new again. For example, just recently, um, Paul McCartney's song, Blackbird, has been reimagined by Beyonce in her new country release. I love that song when I her first heard it, her, the McCartney version, years ago, but not knowing that it was about the black women of the civil rights movement that McCartney later explained. That song is new again for a new audience. Maturing into your creativity and trusting the journey will always activate your emotions and touch your senses. Even set off your pheromones. In other words, it turns you on, which is a good thing. <laughs> it never gets old. Yes, there's a challenge of how to make a living after graduation and beyond. Yep. <laughs> I recently read a New York Times article on an artist that has had a big influence on my creative life. Her, her name is Betty Saar. She said, and I paraphrase, that being creative means finding a way. It means allowing you, your creativity to keep evolving. It means doing what is needed to survive and, of course, flourish. Her philosophy has kept me going over the years from working as a museum teacher, creating handmade greeting cards when I needed extra money, to adjunct teaching, to full-time teaching, and to working hard toward tenure <laughs> as a black woman in an all-male department and as a woman who had to prove that an MFA from the University of Michigan was a valuable degree. Can you believe that? <laughs> Through it all, the love of making art, even at the kitchen table, or having an easel in my bedroom, and raising a beautiful daughter, <laughs> my greatest achievement, creation, was worth every step. I'd like to leave you with a quote from a favorite artist, Romare Bearden. There are roads <clears throat> out of the secret place within us which we must all move as we go to touch others. The artist must be something like a whale, swimming with his mouth open and absorbing everything until he has what it really 
needs. Being an artist is a life journey, a marathon. It's not a sprint. Now y'all go out there and breathe in, fly, soar, celebrate, and congratulations to you all of the class of 2024. Be the light. Be the light. Be the light. Thank you. Janet, thank you so much for sharing so much of yourself with us today. Could we once more honor Janet and the legacy that she's brought with us? <laughs> today, during our commencement celebration, we will honor the academic and creative work of these graduates um, and what they've accomplished while attending the Stamp School of Art and Design at the University of Michigan. Each student will receive a certificate to commemorate their time at Stamps. To be clear, it's not a diploma. The, the university confers diplomas under the auspices of the Board of Regents. Graduating students will receive their official University of Michigan diploma in the mail, probably by the end of June. It is our tradition at Stamps to give each student the opportunity to speak briefly. To help them do that, there's a timer near the stage to help them stay in their allotted time. We will deviate slightly from our program today to help two students who are attending an additional ceremony that begins at 3 p.m. elsewhere on campus. Godspeed, make your way across campus. Uh, these students are graduating with a BFA in Inner Arts Performance, which is a joint degree earned through both Stamps and the School of Music, Theater, and Dance. Professor Holly Hughes is the director of the Stamps Inner Arts Program and is here today to read these names. Please welcome Professor Hughes to the stage. It's such an honor to be here uh, today and share this occasion with my colleagues and with students and uh, family and friends. And it is my delight to be the director of the BFA in Inter-Arts Performance, now in its 16th year and always attracting the most adventurous, out-of-the-box thinkers. And now we're gonna welcome the two, the two graduates. Aren't I supposed to get a, aren't I, I to get a, okay, Elaine Cho. Thank you. Thank you so much everybody and thank you Holly for most for um, having this amazing program. Congrats y'all. Congratulations, Elaine, and our next graduate is Marta Frank. Thank you. Okay, we will now continue with our remarkable cohort of students who have earned their Master of Fine Arts degree here at Stamps. Please welcome Senior Associate Dean for Research, Creative Practice, and Graduate Education, Dylan Miner. Seventeenthly. <laughs> oh, was it, was it 18th? Oh. I'm privileged to recognize this year's MFA graduate degree program recipients. This year's MFA graduates participated in dynamic, creative and artistic work and research, culminating in their thesis, exhibition, and presentations. This cohort <laughs> is an inspiring group of artists, achievers, and activists. We present the Jean-Paul Slusser Award each year at the, at the Stamps Commencement Ceremony. This award recognizes outstanding creative work as evidenced in their thesis exhibition. For our award recipients, you will receive a certificate recognizing your achievement in the folder you receive when you come to the stage later in the program. If you could and are able to, could you rise when I say your names? And we have actually two awards here. The 2024 Sl uh, Slusser Thesis Project Honorable uh, uh, Mention Award goes to Leah Crosby. Thank you. 
And the 2024 Slusser Thesis Project Grand Prize Award goes to Abigail Lowe. Congratulations to both Leah and Abigail and the entire cohort of MFA graduates. At this time, 18thly, I invite the MFA degree recipients to queue up at the microphone as Professor David Chung, the director of the Stamps MFA program, intro introduces the 2024 MFA graduates. Simone Preet, oh no. Before I acknowledge the people who supported me throughout my MFA, I need to acknowledge that there is a genocide happening right now in Gaza. As a student at this university, I urge the administration to divest now. Free, free! Free, free! I'd, I'd like to thank my friends, family, and peers for all their endless support and, encour and encouragement throughout this process. With special thanks to my partner and my love, um, and after today, Dr. Connor Singh Vanderbeek, and my mentors, uh, Jennifer Metzger, who has endlessly supported my thesis work, as well as my thesis chair, Dylan Miner, a generous supporter of my work and broader artistic practice. In addition, I would like to thank my former thesis chair, Osman Khan, who is now in sabbatical, as well as Amelia Yang, Arvind Palmander, and Quinn Hunter. Thank you, and ceasefire now. Free, free! Free, free! Free, free! Leah Crosby. Jesse Carlsberger. Thanks to my family and my advisors and my cohort. You guys are amazing. So. Abigail Lowe. Thank you to Carly, my technical director and sister. <laughs> Stephanie Morissette. Merci à Adele et Narsen, mon mari. Et merci aussi à toute l'équipe de STAM. C'est la cohorte aussi 2022-2024. Merci. Krista Scherman. Next, we are honoring our undergraduates who have earned either a Bachelor of Fine Arts or a Bachelor of Arts degree. Associate Dean for Academic Programs, Rebecca Strelick, will join us to present the awards to the Stamps 2024 undergraduates. Thank you, Veronica. And 19thly, um, these students have shown creative problem solving, ingenuity, and integrity throughout their time at Stamps. Their creative practice and commitment to the greater good inspire us all. Before we call our graduates to the stage, I would like to recognize those who have achieved special recognition from their time at Stamp School in various ways. These awards celebrate excellent academic performance, service, international studies, research, creativity, and the hard work of earning a University of Michigan degree. I would like to recognize our summa cum laude graduates these students' performance has been so very excellent that their cumulative grade point average places at the top 3% of their graduating class. Students, as I call your name, please stand if you are willing and able and remain standing until all names are called. Friends, family, if you could please hold your applause until all the names have been announced. Our summa cum laude graduates are Boya Selena Gong, Yujin Kim, Emily Mann.
Congratulations, all of you. Thank you. This is so fun. <laughs> the Candy R. Way Prize for International Studies is found, funded in memory of art and design student Candy Way. The prize is awarded through a juried competition recognizing seniors who best demonstrate how their international study experience changed or influenced their work as an artist or designer. The winners of the 2024 Candy R. Way Prize for International Studies in Art and Design are Ayana Bell. You can break some rules, that's okay. <laughs> Nuala Kennedy. <laughs> Emily Mann. <laughs> Annabelle Paul. <laughs> and Abigail Rappaport. <laughs> Thank you all very much. I am pleased to now recognize our Integrative Project and BA Capstone Awards. Each year, BFA students enroll in the culminating Integrative Project, a two-semester, nine-credit monster of an independent studio. At the end of each year, the faculty chooses two students from each section to receive special recognition for the superior quality of their projects. This award is particularly meaningful because the faculty knows each step of every student's project. The projects are judged throughout the process, development and researching the concept, testing and prototyping, making and remaking, critiquing and revising, finishing and installing. These ambitious projects only come to fruition with dedicated leadership, organization, and adept wrangling of persons and details. For his service as this year's integrative project course coordinator, please join me in re recognizing Bruce Tharp. Thank you for all of your wrangling, Bruce. There are 10 IP award recipients. As I call your name, please stand, if you are willing and able, until all names have been called. The 2024 integrative project awards go to Alexandra Collins. Nicole DeVecchio. Helena Frawley. Sarah Gary. Jacob Jor. Natasha Levitt. Annabelle Paul. Anna Porman. Alyssa Wilkham and Brian Wilson Jr. Congratulations. Seniors pursuing a Bachelor of Arts degree can engage in a year-long independent project titled the BA Senior Studio. Kate Rubin ably led this course and its students. Please join me in recognizing the leadership of Kate Rubin. The BA Senior Studio always recognizes one student who is deemed to have the best BA project in their graduating class. The 2024 BA Senior Studio Award goes to Lana Victoria. Congratulations. The Integrative Project Written Thesis Award recognizes the superior quality of a student's IP thesis's written portion. It is judged on the overall excellence of the written work, both in the research and composition. The IP faculty nominates students, and Jennifer Metzger, the coordinator of the Stamps Writing Program, confirms the final winner. Jennifer, can you please stand and be recognized for your tremendous efforts? <laughs> The winner of the Stamps IP Written Thesis Award is Jay Petrowski. <laughs> the 
The Gorman Award is given to a graduating senior who excelled in scholarship, service, leadership, and creative work during their senior year and undergraduate study here at Stamps. This year's recipient of the Gorman Award is Lindsay Farb. Now, it's time to announce the 2024 Big Idea Award recipient. Ooh, there was like a hush. <laughs> In memory of the alumna Penny W. Stamps and with generous support from the Stamps family, friends, and other community supporters, the Big Idea Award provides $25,000 to a Stamps senior or a team of Stamps seniors to help launch a major ambitious project after graduation a project that calls on a student or a team to commit their moral and intellectual capital to their big idea. I am proud to announce the 2024 Big Idea Award winner, Caitlin Onella. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! With <laughs> and Caitlin's project is entitled Kingdom of a Million Elephants, Stories from Laos. So my project for the Big Idea Award is called Kingdom of a Million Elephants, Stories from Laos. And it'll be a 2D animated visual archive of stories from Laos, which are basically like myths, folk tales, things like that. And as for what I want people to get out of this, I want people to become more aware of like a country they may have never heard about or a culture that they may have never engaged with. So this is the main reason why I'd like to tell stories and record oral stories that have been told before or just haven't been recorded. So for me, at the time, I believe it was like a project for an actual stamps class. They're basically encouraging us to create a series of three illustrations. And I wanted to do mine about Lao mythology because I love drawing animals and doing creature design. So that's kind of what got me interested in like mythological stories and things like that. And it's just been kind of like a gradual progression in terms of like figuring out all these different things where I could actually get access to these stories from. So like from my family, I was able to hear about these different stories and then I was just kind of thinking like hey if I could actually get my family to tell me these stories or go to my local community and see like if they have stories that they want to tell just because like our community isn't that big especially in the U.S. just because well Laos is a small country I found that's the main reason why we don't have a lot of recorded resources so if I could impact it in that way and combine like my interest in animation with that I thought that would be a great way to combine my artistic education and my cultural background and my artistic interests into a single project. This award basically has meant like to be able to actually pursue something that I really care about and actually like create animations because I think that's the big thing for me. I'm just like, I just wanna get to animating. So I'm really excited to be able to do that. And it really means the world to me to be able to actually pursue that in a meaningful way. Our biggest congratulations, Caitlin. Best wishes as you undertake this ambitious project and we look forward to following your progress and celebrating along with you. Now, the time has come to recognize and introduce our undergraduate graduating students. Students, you have met the unique challenges of your time with remarkable resilience. With your strength, persistence, and deep care, you are ready for what lies ahead. You've worked hard and you've made it to this day. I am so proud of every one of you. I can't wait to see what you do next. Our faculty readers for today are Professor John Marshall, who will read the names of the students receiving their Bachelor of Arts degree, and Professors Endy Poshkovich and Bruce Tharp, who will read the names of the students receiving their Bachelor of Fine Arts degrees. Congratulations. I'd ready. like to thank my friends for supporting me, my family for trusting me, and Mr. Stamps for the scholarship that allowed me to attend this institution. And I'd also like to thank the faculty for allowing the little speech tradition to continue. Um, my peers have spent years developing their voices, and I want to hear them. 
And I believe that the job of an artist is to challenge the excesses and injustices of our time, and it's the job of the audience to listen. Thank you. Austin Bobbitt. It's, it's crazy because when you're first starting off as a freshman, you're just thinking, oh, it's gonna take forever to get where, like, where I am now, and here I am. And I just wanna thank my family for loving and supporting me through all these years, and my brother, Sean, He's here today, my best friend. <laughs> We've known each other since we were like good babies. And I'd like to thank the professors who I've had the absolute pleasure of uh, learning under and helping me progress my creative process uh, here at Sam. So thank you. Milani Bayless. Hi, um, thank you all for coming. Thank you to my family that's here and watching um, and coming tomorrow. Um, and a special thank you to my mom for supporting me and wanting to be an artist and investing everything and continuing to invest it more into me every day. So thank you. Audrey Carter. Um, I'd like to thank my family uh, for encouraging me to believe that I could contribute something to the arts. Uh, go blue. Juliana Michelle Lucas. Thank you, Mom and Dad, for just the opportunity in this education. I'm so grateful, and I love you guys. Selena Liu. Just want to say thank you to everyone who's been there and supported me. I want to thank my family, uh, my professors, advisors, the Fivers Department, my fellow transfer students, uh, the UMA for giving me the opportunity to work there, and. Yeah, congrats, class of 2024. Inslee Stewart Loggins. Hi, I just wanted to say thank you to my parents, my brothers and sisters, and my friends here. Thank you guys for everything. Boya Selena Gang. This is really a life-changing place for me, and it means a lot to me. And thank you for all the instructor, my family, and my boyfriend, and also everyone. We did it! I feel so proud to be a part of this lovely group of people. Um, I want to thank my dad for handing me a camera because he would have been grinning from ear to ear today. And thank you to our teachers who really, really do deserve more. Thank you. Lena Brooke Friedman. Um, I want to thank the printmaking community, Andy, Lee, Nick. Um, seven to ten color relief class, one to one, Sydney Payton, who survived international uh, experience with me, my family, and the rest of my friends. Devin Finley. Um, thanks to my mom, my dad, and my brother Max. You guys are the best, and I have the best four years ever here. Thank you. Anna Grace Bowden. My friends told me to say something profound, so here I go. Something profound. Look at you, Alfie. Uh, I just want to thank my mom and dad really quick because I don't feel like I ever get a proper chance to. Um, you guys do everything for me. Uh, I love you guys. Thanks. Atticus Chan. Uh, I'd like to thank my parents for supporting me. Yeah. Atara Crash. I'd like to thank my family for being here and also say that there's um, over 130 hostages um, in Gaza right now. And I hope that they all have a safe return home soon and that there's peace in the world. Santana Malnick. I wanted to congratulate my uh, parents, brother, and friends for having the coolest, funniest, and most humble graduate ever. I love you guys. Natalie Caitlin Maitiev. I just want to say thank you to my family, my friends, and everyone who supported me on this journey. I'm so grateful to have this education and this opportunity. So thank you so much. Megan Oselnik. Hi, I want to thank everyone in the ceramics department and shout out to Clay Club for the $1,400 that we raised for the hunger crisis in Gaza. Free Palestine. Taylor Jane Passas. 
I just wanted to say thank you to all of my friends, families, and loved ones who are here today and watching all over the world. Um, and a thank you to the Michigan Athletic Department and men's tennis team. And also a special thank you to my academic advisor, Romy, and my GSI, Jesse, for making me not just a better artist, but also a better person. Jake Christian Schrager. Um, thank you to my friends and family. I'm so grateful that there's too many of you for me to name drop you all in 15 seconds. Um, thank you to the Marcoms team for letting me do crazy things. And uh, go blue. Abby Rose Rappaport. I just want to say thank you so much to my parents and grandparents and brothers for traveling so hard, so far to be here to support me today. I love you all so much and I couldn't have done it without you. Olivia Pilot. I just wanted to say thank you to my family and my best friend for being here, and I wish that my grandparents were here to see this as well. Congratulations, everyone. And Jenny Kim. Um, I'd like to thank you to my family and my friend and all instructors that I've met here. And thank you. Andrew Robert Chapel, Paradise. I just want to say thank you to my family for uh, loving me unconditionally, always supporting me. Uh, giving me the opportunity to go to this amazing university. So uh, forever and always, go blue. Nicole Parsett. I just want to say thank you to my family. I know they're here somewhere. Mom, Dad, Nan, Opa, Andre, and Catherine. And love you guys. Caitlin Parker. Uh, I just want to say thank you to my family, my friends, and my partner. Without your support, I wouldn't be here. Go blue. Angela Key Pang. Um, I just want to say a huge thank you to my family and friends and all my instructors and professors who have been there to support me along the way. And thank you so much, everyone. Go Blue. Riley Schultenborg. <laughs> I just want to say thank you to my mom and my grandparents who have supported my education, and especially Andy Poskovic, Lee Marshallonis, and Nick Dogwello and the rest of the printmaking committee. Love you guys. Kendall Brooks Singer. I just want to say thank you to my family, my two parents who have given me this opportunity. So grateful for you. Go Blue. Lucy's son. Firstly, I want to say thank you to my parents, my family, everyone who's here today, my friends here in engineering and in Paris watching me right now. Um, special thank you to all my instructors, my professors, and especially the lecturers who keep the school together. <laughs> I love you all, and yeah. Camille and Virginia Andrew. During my sophomore review, I received the feedback that I had never been entrenched in the culture of blackness. So I'd like to thank my family across Brooklyn, New York, London, England, and Caracou, Grenada. Thank you for inspiring me and pushing me. I couldn't have made it here without you. Hannah Lucille Anderson. Biggest thank you to my family. You guys are the best. Love you. Jessica Ruby Allen. Uh, thank you to my family and the entire Stamps faculty for getting me here today. Here today. Uh, go Blue. Joshua Weiss. I'd like to thank my family and all the professors and all the friends I made along the way. Alana Tran. I would love to thank my family who are here today. Thank you. Daniel Rose Tutak. To mom, dad, Adam Grimms, who are here, Megan, watch from home. You're the best family I could ever ask for. To my friends who are here, you're my whole world, and I love you so much. Emily Marie Vigia. Yeah. Um, big thank you to all of my family, especially my parents who are over there, and my friends in the room, and my roommates who are hopefully watching. They're probably not, but love you all. Um, and wherever you go, go blue. Wang Jun Kai. Thank you for all my friends that support me through all the dumb shit I do. And <laughs> thank you to my family for supporting me. Okay, Lani Weatherly. I, I'd like to say thank you to my family, uh, my instructors, and uh, congrats, everyone. Elena Ortega. I wanted to say thank you to my friends, to my family, to my peers who pushed me to do more than I thought I could ever do. Thank you, and go blue. Jordan Axelrod. Thank you so much to my family and my grandparents. Go Blue, so grateful. We're gonna have a brief chef change. Eliza Beth Bear. Thank you to my parents, my family, and everyone else, and go Blue. 
Ali Barger Elliot. Hi, I'd like to thank my parents, my siblings, and my grandparents for their unwavering support. Go Blue! Ayana Unisa Rafayu. Ayana Anissa Rafia. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> thank you. Thank you to my family. Thank you to my friends, everyone that I've met at Michigan and along the way. Um, thank you, Mom, for supporting all of my creative pursuits. I love you. Sarah Louise Bird. I just wanted to say thank you to my friends and family. I love you guys. <laughs> Dylan Rai Chen. I would like to say thank you to my family and the professors behind me, to who I'm not convinced I deserve, because they're just incredible. All the friends I've made along the way, and a special shout out to the 406 roommates that I don't deserve. I don't know what I would do without you guys. I love you so much. Sydney Ann Christensen. To my family and my friends and the whole Stamps community at large, thank you. Samantha Chosid. I'd like to thank my family and all my professors. You're the best. Michaela May Clark. Thank you to my family and friends for all your support. I love you guys. Alexandra Collins. Thank you to my mother. We built this dream together. Thank you to God for sending me so many angels. I surely needed them. And thank you to the wonderful painting faculty and all the amazing people that have, I've encountered at Stamps who changed my life. Thank you so much. Allison Crawford. Hi, thank you to my family who's here today and thank you to all my friends. And shout out to the printmaking community because you guys are amazing and these past four years have been the best. So thank you. Sophia Bella Crumbeck Terrain. Hello. Um, so first of all, thank you so much to my parents and to my professors for putting me on this stage today. And second of all, I would like to say free Palestine, University of Michigan divest from the genocide in Gaza immediately, and protect free speech on college campuses. Thank you. Nicole Isabel Del Vecchio. Hi, I just want to thank my mom, my dad, my siblings, my Dia Noni, and Heidi, who really inspired me to pursue animation. Go Blue! Claudia Carolyn Dempsey. Hi, I just wanted to thank um, my entire family, especially my mom and my dad, and my brother Evan, who have supported me throughout this whole four years. Thank you. I love you guys. Sarah Fate Detling. <laughs> Hi, family, thank you, and also a special thank you to Jim Cogswell for being a great professor. <laughs> Grace Theory. <laughs> thank you so much to all of my family members. I greatly appreciate all of you for your unwavering support. To my friends, thank you so much for your encouragement. And a big shout out to the printmaking department for the last three years. You guys are fantastic. Alea Me, Alea Me Edison. Olujimi Edison. Hi, everyone. I would like to give a special thank you to family and friends and professors that have helped me along the way in Free Palestine, Sudan, and Congo. Thank you. Yasmin Alrivini. Thank you, Mama, Baba, Zainab, Basil, and Sora, and Free Palestine. Anna Marie Engelman. Hi, um, I would like to uh, express my gratitude to the teachers and mentors uh, along this journey of mine that have pushed me to take risks and be brave in my making and um, allowed me to dive into my creativity and curiosity while uh, allowing me to be free to uh, be unapologetic with my voice and my vision. And thank you to my family and my friends uh, for believing me. I love you guys dearly. Thank you. Hayden Eric. Um, hi, everyone. Uh, I just want to say I'm honored to be up here. First, I got to shout out to my family. Uh, thank you for supporting me, or else I wouldn't have been here. Uh, I also want to thank uh, my lovely professors and the faculty here, some of which have come. Uh, and gosh, this thing is weird. Um, anyway, without them, I, you know, I also wouldn't be standing here right now. They pushed me to be the best I could be. And for that, I'm grateful. So thank you. Go Blue. Lindsay Brill Farb. Thank you. Um, I would
would like to thank my family, especially Mama Farb and my Grandma Lila for making this experience possible and encouraging me to follow my dreams. I would also like to thank my incredible friends I made here and those I've kept, my mentors and my beautiful girlfriend for becoming the chosen family of which I could have only dreamed. Thank you. Grace Philbin. Um, thank you so much to all my lovely friends and family and instructors who have helped me so much during these four years and specifically all the lovely ladies of 508. You know who you are. I love you so much. You're my sisters now. Hannah Finch. Hi. Thank you to my friends and family. Praise God. Lily Badut Gandhi. Hi, thank you so much to my family for supporting me throughout college, and thank you to my friends that I met here. Go Blue! Ashley Freeman. I just want to say I endorse anything that Molly says after me, and I just want to thank my family who has believed in me all these four years. God bless. Molly Elizabeth Gaffey. Uh, I'd like to not only thank God, but Jesus. Um, and also Jill Green, Frank Nanukorku, and all the other amazing faculty and staff that have gotten me to where I am. Thank you. And also my parents. Shout out to them. Bree Fox. <laughs> I just want to thank my friends, my family, anybody who I met, worked for, interacted with over these four years. You've made life so much easier. I love you, Homium. Thank you. Helena Frarley. <laughs> Um, I just wanted to say thank you to my family and my beloved home, the Cayman Islands. I wouldn't be here without you. Love you all. Go Blue! Eleanor Flowers. Hi. I would just like to say thank you to my family and my friends for the best four years ever. And my mom for being my biggest cheerleader. Go Blue! Jillian Flippin. <laughs> Special thanks to all my family for helping me through all this and my <laughs> professors Nicole and Susan um, and also shout out to all the transfer students I've been to two other places and this is the best place to be go blue <laughs> Mary Jordan hi everyone I want to thank my family of course my friends faculty and just everyone at stamps I'm so inspired by all of my classmates and I really appreciate all of you go blue <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Zip it. All right. Immense gratitude to my friends and my family and to everyone who has supported me along the way. I adore you immensely. To my peers in the class of 2024, I love you. I'm so excited for us and where we're going to go in the future. So congratulations. And to the University of Michigan overall, please do better. Free Palestine. <laughs> Benjamin James Herman. Hi. Um, thank you, Mom. Thank you, Dad. Sam, Hadley, my friends, uh, my teachers. I, thank you for nourishing the ever-living creative engine within me. I love you all, and I'm so proud of you. Rosemary Harrington. <laughs> Mom, I love you. Thank you so much. You're the best ever. Um, Jack, Mary Claire, Kate, Pat, Frank. That's everyone. I love you so much. Go Blue. Ah. Raina Grossman. Ah. Special thanks to my friends and family. Love you guys. Go Blue. Brendan Thompson Gross. Hi. I'd like to give a special thank you to my parents and my little sister Mackenzie who are here tonight. Uh, Go Blue, national champions. Riley Grease. Hello. Riley Noel Grice here. I just wanted to say thank you to my friends, my family, and the faculty that dragged me kicking, screaming, and my lifeless body across that finish line. <laughs> um, I just want to say to everyone, um, even if you didn't get one of those big awards with the fancy names, we all did something great here. And I want you all to be acknowledged for that. Let's go, people. Ella Lauren Gittler. I want to say thank you to my family for always supporting me. I had the most amazing four years here. I couldn't have asked for anything more. And forever go blue. 
Paige Gilstead. Hi. Um, I just want to say thank you to my family, friends, and professors, the ones who are here and the ones who are not able to be. You've always been so proud of my work, even when maybe I was not, and I love you so much. I'm so proud to go blue. <laughs> Sarah Lynette Gary. Thank you to my parents, my brothers, and uh, my wonderful teachers, a few on the stage, Patricia Beals, Jim Cogswell, and Susan Hoagie. Kate Gendrushik. Good job. Um, <laughs> thank you to my family. You always believed in me. Sorry, I'm gonna cry. Um, <laughs> just thank you, I think I need to stop. <laughs> Joanna Beth Loeb. Slater Skaters. Emily Lynn. Charlotte Elizabeth Lee. <laughs> Thank you so much to my family, my parents, and my little sisters, all my friends, and all the wonderful instructors that I had here. I feel so grateful. Natasha Leavitt. I want to thank my family, the incredible friends that I've made here, the fantastic faculty, the Leos and the GSIs. This has been an incredibly life-changing experience and I'm so proud to be a Wolverine. The opportunities I've found through this university have given me so much hope for a wonderful future. And I implore the university to continue to provide opportunities for students by investing in our education and not the occupation. <laughs> Rory Kwan. Um, so I, of course, would like to thank my friends, family, and professors for supporting me all the way to this point. And of course, I'm so grateful for everything U of M has given me. I've had so many incredible opportunities and met so many wonderful people here. And it, be, it is because of this appreciation that I will continue to do my very best to push this universe, university towards the right side of history, which includes divesting, I can't speak, divesting from genocide, as my cap says. Um, to Santa Ono, the Umish regents, and our entire community, please support the liberation of all people. Free Palestine. Alexander Kendro. Just want to say thank you to my family, my friends here, and not mom and dad. Couldn't have done it without you. My biggest supporters love you all. Alex Couch. Hi. Uh, I'd like. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'd like to thank all of my family and friends and the wonderful faculty at Stamps for uh, nurturing my uh, creative side, especially uh, Jennifer Metzger. Um, fantastic teacher and writing coach. Thank you. Alex Kolchev. Uh, for my little brother who passed away last year. Thanks, guys. Nula Kennedy. Uh, hi, I'll start by saying thank you to the faculty instructors that have helped me, especially Heidi and Holly and uh, Bruce as well. Um, and then thank you to you guys, um, all of you, even if we've only known each other like a really short time, you've made a lasting impact on me and I'm really proud of all that you've done and all you will do. Gigi Calabut. Hey guys, I uh, just want to say thank you to my parents, my brother, you guys, my rock, love you so, so much. Um, thank you to all my teachers and mentors who've guided me through this incredible process. And thank you to the University of Michigan for bringing me the most incredible friends I could ever imagine. Go Blue! <laughs> Suman Iris Jung. <laughs> um, thank you, professors, um, peers, family, and friends, but most importantly, thank you, Penny. <laughs> Sydney Elizabeth Payton. I want to say thank you to my friends and family, and thank you to my best friends, Michaela and Lena. Annabelle Bridger Paul. Uh, I'll just say thanks to my family. If you guys didn't appreciate art, I wouldn't be here. Madison Patel. 
Thank you to my family, my teachers, and Bursley Hall for giving me lifelong friends. Caitlin Onella. Hi, everybody. Uh, I want to thank my friends and family for being here with me today, and also my professors. I want to give a special shout out to Susan Hoagie because she has really made the world for me, and I'm really going to carry all of my professors' words forward. Thank you. <laughs> Lily Anna Omelan. Um, I'd like to thank my family for being here and always supporting me and forcing me to come here. Um, <laughs> I'd like to thank um, Andy and Roland and Nicole for being my IP professors. And go blue. Sonali Naran. Sonali Narayan. Um, thank you to all my friends and family, but mostly my mom, dad, sister, Serena, Madhu, and Krisha. And I couldn't have done it without you. Marilyn Hoy Tin Mok. Hi, everyone. Uh, I just wanted to thank uh, my parents for flying here a thousand miles and always supporting me, believing in me, and giving me the confidence in art. Thank you to my friends here and professors that I made you know, of the relationship here. I truly am really grateful to meet you all, and congratulations everyone, we did it! <laughs> Joseph Olson Myers. Hello everyone, I wanna give a special thanks to my mom, my dad, all my coaches along the way for supporting me through this strange degree, and go blue. <laughs> <laughs> Alexandra McRill. Um, hi, as a first generation student, I want to thank my parents for constantly supporting me and pushing me to finish this degree and really do my best. And um, you miss die best now and free Palestine. Emily Mann. Hi, everyone. Um, thank you to my parents, first of all, and my family and loved ones. I know I can be a pain in the neck sometimes. Thank you for putting up with me. Um, also, thank you to all my amazing instructors and professors that I've had here, especially Andy, right behind me. Um, I can't believe it's been three, four years, three, three and a half years. Um, thank you for showing up every day and for sharing your knowledge with us and for setting an example through your words, actions, and beliefs. You all are amazing. Polina Maknev. Hi, I want to say thank you so much to my family and my partner, wherever you guys are, for your unconditional support. Thank you so much to my friends who helped me make it through all of my classes, and especially IP. That was crazy. And so proud of all of us. Thank you to the professors. You've given me amazing knowledge and skills that I'll take with me for the rest of my life. We did it. Go Blue. Kyler Luna. Thank you to my beautiful family and friends for supporting me. I know I don't make it easy. And thank you, go blue. Devia Shankar. Thank you for everyone who came to the graduation. Go blue and free Palestine. <laughs> Chloe Jacqueline Shantz. Yeah. Um, first of all, thanks to my instructors, everyone, all my peers who inspired me. But mostly thank you to my mom and dad and my two little brothers. I would not be here. I would not have made it all four years without them. So shout out to them. Um, you mish, divest, don't arrest, and free Palestine. Chloe Page Sapp. I want to thank my friends and my family and free Palestine. Isabella Sachs. I want to thank all the friends I made here and my family. I love you all so much. Abby Elizabeth Rissi. I'd like to thank my family and my dog. Go blue. <laughs> Casey Linden Rowe. Um, family, uh, friends, faculty, thank you for uh, opportunity, trust, and grace. Thank you. Grace Lucille Queen. Um, thanks to my family and the friends who have really become family over the last four years, I guess. Um, and thanks to everyone at Stamps for really showing me who I want to be and what I can be. Thank you. Madison Quist. Thank you to my family and to my lovely Stamps community. Love you guys. Maisie Prince. Thank you so much, Mom, Dad, Ivy, Noah. You guys are my rocks and more and continually push me to be my best self. Thank you. And go blue. 
Nicholas Pippin. Deciding to transfer this school was the best decision I ever made. Thank you to my professors, my friends, and most of all, my family. Love you guys. We are the best university in the world. Go Blue! Anna Xionping Poorman. Thank, uh, thank you to all my friends and family who have given me unconditional love and support to be an artist, um, both here on Earth and beyond. And um, special thanks to Annika Cupertelli for being an amazing human teacher, mentor, and Susan Hoagie for IP. Lecturers deserve more. Thank you. Jay Petrosky. Hi. Uh, thank you to my family, my instructors, and anybody who has ever helped me move one of my massive ceramic sculptures. <laughs> Daphne Grace Wilson. I, I want to say thank you to my friends and family and my sister Adelaide, and also a big shout out to the printmaking community. I love you all. And to Andy and Lee and Nick for being fantastic mentors and teachers. Thank you. Brian Wilson. I want to say thank you so much to everyone who supported me along the way, friends, family, and everyone else that I can't even name. Um, and you know, I always say that hard work, hard work beats talent. I'm just lucky to have both. Stay wonderful. <laughs> Alyssa Jade, welcome. To the weavers, printmakers, and ceramicists, I'll miss you the most. Grace Wirtunen. Um, my family likes to call me the artistic one. But none of them do art, and that's okay. But they taught me to find creativity in the places you wouldn't normally find it. So thank you, guys. Nina Rachelle Walker. Thank you so much to the creatives that I became friends with and listened to every idea that I ever had. Thank you to my parents for making me. And thank you to Stamps Gallery. Thank you so much for being there for me. Aww. Lana Victoria. you. Um, I'm extremely grateful for all I have received in this life, including my parents and family. Thank you for supporting me in this journey. Um, and I can't wait to give back to the world. So thank you. Theodore Verone. I'd like to thank my family for being here and being so supportive. Uh, and also all the STAMS faculty that I've met during my time here, uh, especially my advisor, Romy, and Brian Banks. Thank you. Janine Vang. Um, shout out to my friends, my family, to the STAMS faculty, um, and congratulations to the class of 2024. Let's all be friends on LinkedIn. <laughs> Ethan Terrain. I want to express my gratitude and love for my parents and my entire family for continuing to support and encourage me. And I also want to extend a thanks to all of the professors that I've had the privilege of working under and all of you for being so encouraging and just being a light of uh, support and creativity. Thank you. Jalen Schviglin Krell. Hi everyone, um, this is Nuts. I want to thank everybody who stood by me and everyone who I've met who has inspired me along these four years, and thank you. Enid Elena Smith. Hi, I would like to thank my parents and brother for fostering and encouraging my passion for arts, and I would also like to thank my amazing fiance, Ian, for supporting me the last four years. I can't wait to see what this new chapter of our life brings us. Ashlyn Slaviaro. I'd like to say a special hello to my grandma who couldn't make it today. I love you very much. Um, I want to say thank you to my friends, my family, my roommates. I am who I am because of you, and it means the world to me that you've supported me. I'd also like to give a special shout out to Anne Mondro, Annika Cucpatelli, Allie Hirsch, and Kathy Berry for making my practice what it is. You are incredibly uh, amazing, and I appreciate everything you've done for me. Zoe Zhang. <laughs> Um, hi, everyone. I want to thank everybody who's loved me and supported me along the way. And um, shout out to my best friend, Hannah, who flew all the way from New York to come see me. And thank you, Mom and Dad, for the amazing, the amazing genes that allowed me to master the color picker tool on Photoshop. Thank you. Urun Sulango. Basaikan. Um, I want to thank my parents for the sacrifices they made for me, and I want to thank my boyfriend and 
his family for welcoming me and supporting me through this journey. Thank you. Free Palestine. Gabrielle Magree K. Hi, I wanted to thank my beautiful loved ones for supporting me and not letting me stop and for the faculty for supporting my practice and for scholarships for paying for it all. Chen Yu Zhang. Um, I wanted to say thank you to my friends, partner, family, and the professors who guided and supported me. Without you, I would not be who I am today. Congratulations, everyone, and go blue. Hear it one last time for the graduates. This graduating class receives a special gift um, through a new tradition we are starting this year. It's pretty special. As a memento of their educational experience at Stamps, they receive a special artistic work from Stamps alum and professor Nicole Marokin. Here to share a few words about the significance of this special piece is Professor Marikin. Hi, everybody. This year marks the beginning of a new tradition to present each graduate of the Stamp School with a special gift that celebrates your commitment to creativity and that honors your lifelong connection to the school. Um, each year, this gift will be commissioned by an artist or designer from the Stamps community, your community. This year, I had the honor of creating this print for you. I'm going to talk about how it was made for a second. I made you a three-color silk screen uh, that consists of a flat white layer that's printed on yellow 16 by 20 Burano paper, followed by a split fountain of semi-transparent green that transitions from purple to red uh, from green and then a, finally a black key layer. Uh, it's primarily hand-drawn. I pr prefer handmade graphics, but I did scan the drawings and bitmap them. Uh, it's, I made a signed and numbered edition of 200, um, and I produced it with the printers at Hoofprint Workshop in Chicago, who some of y'all met this year. Early proofs were developed right here in the Fiber Studio the first week of April. Let me tell you a tiny bit about the inspiration. I grew up in Ann Arbor in the 70s and 80s, and of the many, many oddballs that I met that shaped my experience um, was this incredible psychedelic poster artist named Gary Grimshaw. He was an elder at the time when I was in high school. So young, impressionable me was really inspired by his posters, and I appreciate the gig poster format as a composition organizing system. The images of artists working in the studios that you'll see in the print, they're based on photos of art and design students that I found in the Bentley archive. Um, they were taken during the 80s and 90s. And if you look really close, you'll see a tiny quote from uh, De La Soul in also a view of one of the painting studios. Um, I hope you start to grow your personal art collection. Um, and I hope this helps you start it. I hope this piece will be a special reminder of your time at Stamps, too. I'd like to thank Ellen and Jean Ronsal, whose generous support helped make this program possible. Alums of Stamps and U of M, Ellen and Jean have made a deep and longstanding commitment to the University of Michigan through their volunteer advocacy and philanthropic, philanthropic contributions. At Stamps, they have created a senior giving program which helps fund the gift you will receive today and provide a one-to-one -one match for donations made to Stamps by recent graduates. They hope their efforts to pay it forward will inspire you to consider the power of philanthropy and want to give back to provide opportunities for the next generation of artists and designers who will follow in your footsteps. On behalf of Stamps alums all over the world, it's my pleasure to welcome you to our incredible alumni community. Congratulations, and we look forward to seeing you again soon. Okay, as we wrap up this event, the fun continues. We invite you to view the artwork by our graduates at our newly graduated student exhibition commence 
at the Stamps Gallery downtown and our ongoing 2024 senior exhibition impressions at the Art and Architecture Building here on North Campus. Light refreshments are available at both locations. Graduates, please stop by our alumni relations table in the lobby to receive your gift and to keep your connection to Stamps in the coming years. To our newly graduated students, on behalf of all of us at the Stamps School of Art and Design, we congratulate you again. In, in the immortal words of our namesake, Penny Stamps, now go out there and break the rules. Make the world a better place for you being here. Create fantastic art. Design products that will change the way we look at the world. Dream, engage, imagine, live a glorious and fantastic life, and do it with courage, grit, and determination. We believe in you, and congratulations to the class of 2024. Thank <laughs> you.